Hey guys, so it is March 4th, it is about 9am, um, it is still really cold out, but I got all my fish and stuff, so about a month, I don't have to worry about it, and I can just get out there and start fishing. So, first of all, I'm going to go through everything I need for this year, pretty much. Um, yeah, I got some new poles and a new reel. This reel I already had, but this is a new pole. It is a Field and Stream pole, 6'6". Six, six, medium it's uh for my lures like crankbaits right here this bluegill lure for crankbaits and uh lighter things because the reel is uh 701 so it's a quick moving reel and it should work good and better with crankbaits my second pole that is my setup is this nice little 6.6 six viper Rod. I've had this pole for about a year. I um, got it in Myrtle Beach actually. It is a Bass Pro Special Viper. The reel is Viper 2. I have a spinning reel on it and it is a sweet color of blue and I like the color of it. But this is the lure that I have on a little lizard with a jig head on it. Um, that's going to be ideal for the Chippewa. And I have a lot of things that are going to be sweet this season of fishing. I have some tournaments. I have a lot of things. I'm going to be fishing everywhere. Just, you remember that. Third pole that I'm going to be using is my new setup. This is a combo jawbone. It's a sweet looking setup. 6.6 um, six medium heavy rod. This is 6 4 one gear ratio it is a little slower moving but this is the key component right here the lure I've done some time thinking about this lure the best lure they have and it is a nice little jig spin or um, skipping jig with a nice little green and black trailer that looks like a crawfish or some kind of fish but this is going to be doing some damage, I can tell you that. There's no stopping this lure. And I have about four other lures just like that one. Got some chatterbaits. This is going to be for the jigs, chatterbaits, spinning, um, spinning lures, anything that is heavy and more than a half ounce. So this jig is a half ounce right here. Uh, it's got a little brush guard. But this setup is the main setup that I'm going to be having in my hand most of the time, I guarantee that. Unless if um, they're not biting the jig and when in doubt, Senko it out. <laughs> but yeah, that is um, the three poles that I have. Now I'm going to show you some lures that I have got. So let's take a look down here. So this on this side is soft plastic baits we got Senkos um, some flappy little things I don't even know what they're called but they're uh, they smell <laughs> so that's gonna be good we got some lizards right here or no little tailwind things little worms we got the lizards um, green green uh, like crawfish kind of thing we got some dark green ones that is gonna be very good but mostly on this side this is where it's at right here. We have, have some hooks. Um, this is a like 5 aught jig head. It is a massive jig. We got some circle hooks. I always like using circle hooks for um, my Senkos. You just wacky rig it right up in the middle and it looks great. And these are heavy duty. These are like 4 bucks. Now we're going to move on to the chatterbait. Here's the chatterbait, blue and black chatterbait. We got the trailer right there looking good. Um, the dark green trailer. Got the red and black, red and black um, jig. It is a skipping jig. We have the little tailwind on the back. That looks sweet. Um, we got the light brown tailwind thing. Um, this is a little smaller of a jig. I think it is a quarter ounce. Um, this is more of a like a 
football jig kind of little tailwind gonna be for heavier thick 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 stuff I'm gonna use that now this is kind of a long shot right here got a lizard <laughs> six inch lizard with a brown and brown and like light brown jig um, a football jig and I don't know really if this is gonna work but I do have faith in it and I think it is gonna work and everything else is in here a weight scale um, some pliers and some nail clippers for the line uh, yeah, that is pretty much my setup it is a small 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 setup but it does good for what I need we're definitely gonna have some more stuff like a little some more crank baits and stuff like that and uh, definitely gonna have some more Sankos we only have one package of Sankos zoom um, packages Sankos about uh, six inches green which work good but I'm gonna get some brown ones I'm gonna have a whole nother big containers like this full of some more lures and some Sankos but yeah this is my soft plastic and this is my jig and chatterbait um, I'm very excited to go fishing here shortly remember I got some tournaments I'm going to a lot of lakes a lot of stuff um, yeah so thank you and make sure you watch I'm gonna be doing a video once it hits about 50 it's already hit about 63 a week ago but now it's down to like about 35 so I will make a video when it gets a little warmer I'm gonna pull the boat up we're gonna get it all ready and uh, yeah we'll go from there thank you for watching make sure you uh, subscribe and this is my garbage pile yeah, uh, that's what happens